You ever felt like you're running someone else's race? Today, we're uncovering the secret traps that pull you away from your true goals and that one question that can change everything. Stay tuned. Hey there, audacious parents. Welcome to the Dark Horse Entrepreneur Podcast, where we're not just about surviving, we're about thriving. If you're tuning in, you're not looking for just another feel-good, pat-on-the-back kind of show. No. You're here because you're ready to disrupt the status quo. You're ready because you're here to challenge your limits and to step out of the comfort zone where we know growth never happens. This is not just your average, let's all be happy with our nine to five lives kind of podcast. We're here to give you actionable strategies. We're here to dive deep into the world of side hustles, digital marketing, and smart income boosting tactics. Why you may ask? Because we're designed for parents like you, parents juggling family expenses, childcare, and the elusive me time. We're not just about making money though, we're about designing a life, a life that you dictate, not one that's been prepackaged in a soul-sucking 9-5 box. So, if you're ready to break free and design a life that aligns with your dreams, design a life that aligns with your family, you're in the right place. The Dark Horse Entrepreneur Podcast. All right, welcome back, my fellow success seekers. Have you ever felt the weight of a dream so close, yet seemingly so far out of reach? Well, today, uh, another enlightening episode of your favorite podcast. Today, we're embarking on a journey, a journey that many of us are all too damn familiar with, the winding path of chasing our goals. Uh, I recently came across the story of Sandra. Uh, Sandra had a dream of opening her own bakery. You know, she was fresh out of culinary school. She was filled with passion and she was filled with recipes that she could not wait to share with the world. But like many dreams, it, it, it didn't come easy, right? You just couldn't go out there and do it. it you know, like, like so many of our goals, it just doesn't come easy. If it was easy, everyone would be out there doing it. It took Sandra 10 long years filled with hurdles, naysayers, and countless recipe revisions before Sandra's Delights opened its doors. And today, well, it's probably one of the most sought after bakeries in the city. Now, this brings me to the question I'd love for you to ponder as we dive deep into today's topic. Have you ever set a goal that took longer than expected to achieve? <laughs> well, yeah, probably all of them. How did it make you feel? Now, hold on to that thought as we go through the rest of this episode, as we explore the nature of goals and those subtle traps that might be pulling you away from yours. Okay, so let's dive in right here. Goals. We all have them. If you're listening to this podcast, you come across to me as a type of person who does have them or is right on the edge of, okay, I need to do this. Now, they range. They go from the seemingly small that you've kind of finally mastered, maybe just that tricky yoga pose to those grandiose ones, you know, those bow hags, those big, hairy, audacious goals, like launching a business or, or writing a novel. But here's the thing I want you to remember about your goals. Not all of your goals wear the same watch. <laughs> yeah, you, you feel me? Some goals, yep, they're sprinters. They're like out of the gate and they're dashing down the road. They dash to the finish line in record time, leaving you exhilarated, pumped up, almost out of breath. But others, yeah, they're more like those marathon runners. They're taking that slow, long pace because they require endurance. They require patience and they require a whole lot of hydration, he says, holding up his bottle of water. Now, Look, I get it. It's easy for you to get frustrated when our goals don't materialize overnight. We live in a world of instant gratification thanks to technology and just about everything else after all. But I want you to remember the pyramids, well, they say Rome wasn't built in a day. Well, the pyramids weren't built in a day either. And neither, my friends, is lasting success. It's about patience. It's about perseverance. And it's about understanding the journey with all the twists and the turns. That journey, it's just as valuable as the destination. Like I shared with in the previous episode. Did you, did you listen to that? If you didn't, well, if you didn't, you need to go back and go listen to it right now because that will make that last sentence make so much more sense. It's not just that journey. The, all those twists and turns within that journey, the, all those twists and turns, yeah, those are just as valuable as the destination that you're seeking. But let me give you a little bit of food for thought. 
Think about a goal that you're currently pursuing. Go ahead, right now. Get it in your head. You got it? Are you giving it the time it truly deserves? Hmm? Really? On answer honestly. Because why would you lie to me, right? Or are you rushing it? Are you hoping to microwave that bad boy? Yeah, you're hoping to microwave your way to success. You're probably not going to happen. You ever put a frozen turkey in the microwave? It still takes a long time to thaw that puppy out. Let's go another route. Imagine being on a road trip. Eyes are set on that dreamy beach destination that you're driving towards. But along the way... You keep getting detoured because all the other passengers in your car, they insist on visiting their favorite spots. And before you know it, you are miles, maybe even states away from the beach that you wanted to go to. You're lost in the forest. Yeah, frustrating. Yeah, I feel you. 100%. That, my friends, is precisely what happens when we let other people's goals dictate our journey. We've all been there. Don't get me wrong, it happens. Maybe it's a friend's startup idea that sounded too good to pass up. Perhaps it's a family member's vision of your perfect career. Yeah, you know the one that they want you to do and while you're going, no, I want to be this. Story just popped into my head. I remember hearing about Jake. Jake was a talented musician and he had dreams of touring the world with his band. Right? Heck, he would have been happy just touring his state. But when his best friend came up to him with a, a tech startup idea, Jake found himself trading his guitar for coding lessons. Well, two years in, the startup failed. And Jake felt like he had strayed so far from his true passion, so far so that it took him a while just to pick up the guitar and find his rhythm again. The Dark Horse, the Dark Horse Entrepreneur Podcast. See, here's the thing. It's so easy to get sidetracked, especially when those detours come wrapped in good intentions. So here's another question I want you to ponder. Have you ever found yourself chasing a dream that wasn't yours? What? Yeah. Go ahead. You can say it. Yes. We've all fallen victim to that. And if you haven't, then you're lucky. So many of us have found ourselves chasing a dream that just wasn't ours. Whether it was societally pushed, family pushed, best friend pushed, doesn't matter. Here's the question I need to follow that up with. How did it divert you from your true path? What it is you really felt drawn to? Yeah. I want you to remember, while it's great to support others, and I want you to continue to do that, it's truly essential to stay true and honest to your own journey. Oh, I, I said, it's crucial to stay on your own path. I want you to remember that. But while it's crucial to stay on your own path, there is another ingredient that's equally vital to achieving our own dreams. Dramatic pause. And that is, my friends, commitment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm not, I'm not talking about getting married for the rest of your life when you're 18. I'm talking about committing to your goals because that, my friend, is the glue that binds us to our goals, especially when that going gets tough. And it will get tough because if it was easy, you'd already done it by now. You see, it's easy to be enthusiastic when we first set the goal, right? The vision is fresh. The excitement is high. Your endorphins are pumping. But as time goes on, and challenges arise, one after another after another, that initial spark is kind of dim. It's even snuffed out at times. And when commitment steps in, it reminds us of why it is we're doing it and pushes us forward of who this is for and pushes us forward of how this is going to make our life better and pushes us forward. Do you see what I'm saying? All right. Now, this reminds me of a, a quote from Winston Churchill. And he said, success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. That's what unwavering commitment is. That courage to continue when even faced with setbacks. That, my friends, truly defines our journey towards success. So, let me get a bit introspective for a moment, shall we? Another question. Can you recall a time when you were on the brink of giving up, but you chose to stay committed? Yeah? Okay. Think about it. Go ahead. Remember it. Yeah, feel that pride. What pushed you to continue? If it was sheer willpower, 
a supportive friend, or perhaps even a deeper purpose? What was it? If it was sheer willpower, man, good on you. If it was a supportive friend, maybe give them a call after this episode is over with and say thank you. If it was having a deeper purpose, then hang on to that deeper purpose. If you don't have that deeper purpose now, go flipping find it. Picture this. You're standing at a crossroads, right? You got two paths stretched out before you. One is that familiar trail, you know, that well-worn, beaten path. You've been traveling that familiar trail leading you to your dream. The other, yeah, it's the glittering, enticing detour, promising quick rewards, maybe even quick money, maybe even quick women, quick men, I don't know. Here's the question, which do you choose? Huh? Yeah. It's a scenario we've all faced in one form or another. Those shiny external goals that seem so tempting, but often lead us astray from our true goals, our true desire, our true purpose. And while we've talked about the importance of commitment, it's equally crucial to recognize when we've been pulled off our true path. Yeah? Let me talk about Mia for a minute, okay? She was a passionate writer. She had been working on her novel for years, if I remember correctly, I don't want to over-exaggerate it, but when this high-paying job in advertising came her way, she was tempted. Huh? She saw that glittering path on the other side. The money, the prestige, it was all so alluring. Well, unfortunately, she took the job, telling herself that she would write on the side. Guess what? Years went by and her novel gathered dust. It remained unfinished. Heck, it even remained untouched. It was only when she recognized that she had been sidetracked by that external goal, by that allure, that shiny object, that it was she returned back to her true passion. It's a tale of caution for all of us, isn't it? So let me pose this question to you. How do you differentiate between opportunities that align with your goals and those that are mere distractions? Yeah. As we go forward, we're going to delve deeper into the guiding questions that can help us stay true to our journeys. Because life's a maze. And in the maze of life, with its twists, with its turns, and with its tempting detours, how do we ensure we're on the right path? The answer lies in a simple yet profound question. You ready? Okay, hold on, hold on. Now, whenever you're faced with a choice, with an opportunity or even a challenge, I want you to ask yourself this question, and it is, will this bring me closer to my goal or will it pull me further away or will it push me further away? This, my friend, is a compass. It's a beacon. It's a guiding light shining through the fog of distractions and external influences. The power of this question lies in its clarity. It cuts straight through the BS, straight through the noise, helping us evaluate our choices with laser-like precision. And while it might seem straightforward, its impact on our decision-making oh, is profound. So, as we navigate our journeys, I challenge you with this, my friends. The next time you're faced with a decision, will you ask yourself, please, if it brings you closer to your goal? Because remember, every choice, no matter how small, shapes our path. Okay? Now, as we wrap up today's journey, take a moment to reflect. We've delved into the nature of goals, the snares of external distractions, and that unwavering power of commitment. But above all, we've now armed ourselves with a guiding question, a beacon, a light for our path. So, my fellow success seekers, as you face the crossroads of your life, I challenge you, always ask, will this choice bring me closer to my dream? Let that question be your compass. Let that question guide you towards your true north. All right. Thank you for joining me for yet another enlightening episode of this podcast. Your journey towards success is one I am humbly honored to be a part of. And speaking of journeys, next time we'll be diving into your mindset for success. What does it truly take mentally and emotionally to reach the pinnacle of your dreams? Well, we're about to dig into that. So stay tuned. Until then, keep chasing your true north and remember, think successfully and take action. Hey, my Dark Horse Entrepreneur parents, thanks for tuning in. If this episode struck a chord, share it with a fellow parent hustler. 
Let's grow our tribe that thrives, not just survives. For more insights and a community that totally gets it, join our Facebook group at www.darkhorseschooling.com backslash tribe. Think successfully and take action.